We did it. We did a thing. I'm just letting you guys know it's okay. I'm gonna be okay. Jordan's gonna be okay. The kids are gonna be okay. The animals are gonna be okay. But this is not, this, this is not what I expected to do today. This, all of this is my credit cards. Yeah, you see these? This mess, this plastic, it's all cut up. I cut them up. I had to. I couldn't wait another day. I am frustrated. I'm trying not to be so frustrated that I hate everything, but this is definitely not okay. This is not okay. This is just getting ridiculous. You know, let me tell you a little something about this. This whole credit card thing. I'm not against credit cards. I'm, I'm not against them. We'll make it look like a credit card. There we go. I'm not against them. I'm not, I'm not against using them if you need to. However, I am against using them in my world. I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry I can't do it. Usually I use my credit cards and I pay them off. But interest rates have gotten really high. And I'm done. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Um, we're going to have a whole new plan of how things are going to go. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be bringing in a new organization, new plan, new all the things. But today, I could not wait. We had a plastectomy. We had a plastectomy. You see this lovely shape of this credit card? I dare you to swipe it at the store. It's not quite totally square, but it's close enough, right? We can get crafty with it. We can glue it back together. It's gonna be okay. We don't need this. We don't need this. I don't need this. You don't need this and I'm done with these little pieces of plastic ruling how I spend my money and where my every dollar goes because I'm a cash budgeter. I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all on a low income. I'm 34. I've been through this before. We've paid off $10,000 in debt in a desperate need to get a roof over our heads when we were homeless, me and my dog at the time. And I don't want to do it anymore. I'm done. I'm doing I'm done doing the same song and dance every single month. So I'm done. So let me get to the next clip where we're going to talk about all of the things that are going to be in this new plan, new setup. I'll be right back. definitely wanted to create something unique that works for me. Something that I've been working on for quite some time. It's okay to create things that you don't see anywhere else. It's okay to be unique. It's okay to not follow every single person you see on social media, people that are budgeting. Everybody's budgeting journey is totally different from yours. You have your own unique living situation. You have your own bills. Your mortgage is not going to be the same as somebody else's. Maybe your rent is cheaper than mine. Maybe you're paying water. I don't pay water. 
Um, everybody has their way of doing things, things that they find work for them, and that is totally okay. So the other thing I wanted to touch on was that my budgeting experience has changed so much over the last few months. Over the last two years, I've almost been on YouTube for two years. Can you believe that? To me, that's crazy. Um, but I'm just flipping through here. I am adding to every single month some lined paper. Why? Because everybody can use some lined paper. It's okay to add simple things into something that doesn't have to be super complicated. None of this has to be complicated. You don't have to compare yourself to the person next door. You don't have to compare yourself to someone on social media. I'm not going to I'm not going to compare. I'm here to cheer you on. You're here to cheer me on and we're here to have a positive budgeting experience the best we can, right? Because we are all doing the same things at the same time. And it's okay. It's okay. I love this community. I love all of the things dealing with finances. It has literally enriched my world and opened my eyes to all sorts of different types of living. And that's May, it may not be something that I am going to do. Maybe I'm not going to own that house with a white picket fence. But this year, I own this single wide 1966 model. And my husband and I are content. It's okay to be content with what you got. So this is what we have to work with. This is the final product. With some paper left over, of course. Alright guys, so this is the finish, finished product. So, this is how this is going to work. And this is why I changed to this style from the style I was using before. So let's grab this. So I was using this for everything. This was my everything um, to savings challenges, all the way to my monthly budget. So I changed this because I feel like some of these categories on here were a little excessive because I have them down here. So this is a little different, but not really. So we have our bills already written in here. So I don't forget. Why would I forget these? Because I'm ADHD and out most of the time making videos. So we can't forget about our space rent, our car payment, our utilities, our car insurance, our phone, our internet, because those are our basic standard bills to survive and make it through the month. That's how we are going to um, just cover all of our essentials. That's not including food, that's not including household expenses like dishwashing, soap, or dog food, stuff like that. But this is the bare necessities to actually pay the bills. To keep a roof, to keep a car to drive, to make it to work, um, to be able to get in contact with people, to connect to the internet, to apply for jobs, work from home, do all the things, because I do Etsy, YouTube, gig working, and I also am constantly looking for new and improved opportunities. So, the idea with cutting up my credit cards was to stabilize this household. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired, and even though my journey has been long and drawn out and I've had all these different situations and if you've watched my channel long enough, then you know that I've had a rough road, but I'm tired of it being rough. I bought this 1966 single wide to have peace of mind, but I still haven't got peace of mind because I'm too busy running the rat race. It's time to pump the brakes and say, 
this is our new outlook this is our new plan this is basically me reorganizing and reinventing my way of budgeting it's constantly changing if your budget stays the same and this is a dave ramsey thing he even says it if your budget stays the same every single month nothing changes something's wrong so this is what we're going to use for the rest of the year and possibly longer but i like that it has everything that i need i don't need to necessarily write down my weekly high priority low priority sinking funds i can just put whatever amount i have for that particular um month or week because this is a monthly or budget by paycheck i get paid weekly right now by my gig jobs so we're gonna just say weekly right now but i can just put it in there i'm gonna put 30 dollars into sinking funds it can be any of these sinking funds because the truth is I don't need to track it more than once a month, which is back here. And we just have simple. We have our monthly budget. We have our weekly or bi-weekly budget by paycheck. I have four of those. And then I have my sinking funds tracker. And then I also have basic paper because I don't need anything else. I do not need anything else in here. I really don't. I could sit there and micromanage all these things, but I have a little notebook that I haven't shown you guys in a while for my um, car payment tracker. It's it's down here somewhere. I have to look for it, but I'm gonna reorganize everything. We're gonna reorganize this savings challenge binder as well. You guys asked for these videos. I asked if you guys wanted to see organization and you got it. We're gonna finish off the month with this already written out budget, but this is gonna be starting in April. So we're gonna write in April of 2024, which is a good month because that's where all the birthdays are. And then we have Jordan in November and my little piggy, my little baby. Uh, he's going to be 10. He's not so much of a little baby anymore. But the idea is to stabilize everything in our world. Because we don't want to keep living like this. I don't want to live like this forever. Where I'm living unsure to unsure. I want to get rid of some things that are making it hard so this is our written plan it's really no different than this written plan here i just showed this because this was a simple way to get started just having a notebook if you had to just use this notebook cool do it i like it to be a little bit more pristine um our written plan really hasn't changed even though it's smeared a little bit here when i wrote it so i switched pens on the next sheet because my pens have been smearing terribly especially as it gets warmer um, but our plan isn't really changed much uh, we'll go over go over it very quickly so we have a reevaluating our budget on a monthly basis to make simple plan to reduce our expenses what bills are eating our hard-earned cash credit cards. Credit cards are taking $300 from us a month that we could be using towards our 1k emergency fund or paying down these credit cards. Because I want them all to go. This is the max balance for each one of our cards. So realistically, we're looking at less than $2,000 worth of credit card debt. And that's if all of my balances are maxed out, which they aren't. And I'm not going to disclose how much my credit cards are, but they're not all the way maxed out, and I'm not going to max them out. Um, and then we also have our month ahead snowball. This is just a basic, basic idea. This is 110. Even if I could do this once a month, I would still be able to work on getting ahead. 
Obviously, the idea is to use some of our savings challenge money to get a month ahead, to get our credit cards paid down to zero. I cut them up. You saw it at the beginning of this video. I cut them suckers up. I had a plastectomy. I'm done. It was a double plastectomy, triple, quadruple, four credit cards cut to a million pieces. I even cut them smaller than that before throwing them away. If I can hit this every week, imagine how amazing that could be. And then once we're a full month ahead, then we can go on to bigger, better things and we can work on the next month while that month is already prepaid for, just like we do with our rent. How amazing would that be? So we're going to make plans on how to pay down one credit card at a time. And then once those credit cards are paid down, imagine the things, all the things that we could do. This is not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just my written plan every month for the next 12 months. And then we have this that we need to go through. This is going to be the fun one. This one is the nitty gritty stuff nobody wants to talk about. This is the one where we do all the fun savings challenges to get rid of some of the headache. Right? We have a roof money. Let's, let's get back on track. Let's do what we can with what we've got because it's all we have to work with. We are going to do this one dollar at a time, one headache at a time, one written plan, one month, one pay period at a time. So as always, you guys, do what you can with what you got and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, hey, you. Yeah, you, you, the one that's watching, I'm cheering you on. Bye.